mastering engineer is a music and sound based engineer who prepares tracks before their final release. They are often the final set of ears to hear a record before it is released to the public. Their job is to make sure that the artist, record company, and even they themselves have produced the best possible product. It's an important task, to say the least. One of the best the business ever had was George Marino. According to All Music, he is credited on 2,461 releases. Though he died in 2012, that number continues to grow with re-releases and reissues of his previous work. Almost any genre, artist, and band you can think of were given mastering by him. The Beatles and John Lennon's solo albums, Kiss, Dokken, Neil Diamond, Arcade Fire, Real Big Fish, The Allman Brothers, Jimi Hendrix, Led Zeppelin, Nirvana, and the list goes on and on. Below in the description, I'll include a link to his Wikipedia's discography. It's incredibly extensive. George began his career in music playing guitar in local bands in his hometown of New York City. He would eventually be drafted into Vietnam, and when he returned, he began work at Capitol Records, doing all kinds of jobs and assisting anybody who needed it. One of these people was engineer Joe Lansky, whom he studied the process of music editing and engineering from. While at Capitol, he met his future wife, Rose, and became the assistant of executive Clive Davis. When Davis left Capitol, Marino went as well, and continued with Clive for the next two decades. During his days at Capitol, he would work on the release of Hey Jude, which due to its length, structure, and loudness distribution, proved to be one of the most important pieces he ever worked on. It is most likely his work here that led him to mastering most of John Lennon's solo pieces. Capitol would close the New York studio where George worked, and he moved to the now legendary record plant. It was during his time here that he began to pick up momentum in his career and began working on some of the biggest rock albums of the time. In 1973, he left the record plant for Sterling Sound, and it was here that Marino began working in his surround sound studio, one of the only studios capable of producing the standard on vinyl. His equipment was able to produce eight channel mastering, along with an additional discrete six channels, resulting in true surround for vinyl. In 2002, the Grammys began to honor album mastering. During this initial year, Marino would be nominated for the Bob Dylan record, Love and Theft. Finally, in 2011, he won the award for Arcade Fire's Suburbs. The next year, in 2012, he would sadly pass away after being diagnosed with lung cancer. George Marino is owed a great debt of gratitude from every music fan. His ability and equipment had a hand in shaping how we not only heard music, but experienced it. Again, I encourage you to check out his discography below, as it is more than likely he had a hand in creating one, if not most, of your favorite albums. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to help support this channel, like, share, comment, subscribe, check out my old videos, and I will see you guys next time.